Let's continue with the car battery that I use at City College of San Francisco to show simple circuits. And uh, that's the battery that has the extended terminals, 12 volts. And you recall we had lamps attached to the terminals by alligator clips. The top branch containing two lamps. And the two lamps were 6 ohms as these, all attached. And we saw those lamps lit up. And what we want to know now is, what's the relative brightness of these lamps? We know the top two lamps are dimmer than the bottom. But would these two together put out as much light as, say, one of these? Let's suppose, for example, we were in a dark room and we just lit the room with this branch. How bright would the room be compared with how bright it would be if we just use one of these lamps? So we want to talk about that. Recall that we had current through the lamp. We had two amps through that lamp, two amps through the middle, and one amp here supplied the top branch. And of course, we had a total of five amps in the circuit. To further investigate the brightness of the lamps, we talk about the concept of power. And electrical power can be measured in the circuit by the product of the current in a device multiplied by the voltage across that device, in this case, the lamps themselves. We measure power in units of watts. Let's look at the power in the lower branch. And that's 6 ohm lamp. That power would be the current in the lamp multiplied by the voltage across the lamp. And that would be 2 amps multiplied by 12 volts. And we'd see that this lamp dissipates 24 watts of power. You got that? If you do, you can answer this question. What power would the 6 ohm lamp above it dissipate? And I think you could see it's, I hope you said 24 watts, because it's identical situation as here. So 24 watts for each lamp. What about the top branch? The power there, across the 6 ohm, plus the 6 ohm is going to be the current through the 2, 1 amp, multiplied by the voltage across, 12 volts, and that's going to be equal to 12 watts. That's 12 watts for both lamps. So we can see both lamps are dimmer in fact, we can ask, what's the power by each lamp? Well, it's going to be 6 watts each. Isn't that true? And that's because the power is equal to the current times the voltage. And the current would be 1 amp. But the voltage across one of these lamps, recall voltage drop? How much voltage drops here and here to equal the 12? Well, since the lamps are equal, I think you can see the voltage drop is going to be half of 12. That's 6 volts, and we're going to have 6 watts. What's the power dissipated by the other lamp? That'll be 6 watts. 6 watts plus 6 watts, 12 watts. Yum! So how bright is the circuit altogether? 60 watts. Let's ask another question. What's the power supplied by the battery? That's going to be 5 amps times 12 volts is equal to 60 watts. And that checks. Yum yum? I hope so. Now if you understand this, you can answer this question. Let's suppose instead of powering this circuit with 12 volts, we powered it with a 6-volt battery. Can you show the power 
put out by the battery would be equal to one quarter of 60 watts? And can you defend your answer? Perhaps by letting an equation guide your thinking? I hope so. Until next time, good energy. Mm -hmm.